Hey everyone, this is Taylor Western with Speech Eats. I am a speech therapist and I work with Birth to Three. A lot of what I do is involved in feeding and I like to come up with fun ways to get kids involved in daily life in the kitchen. So we are doing a crock pot meal today. I love crock pots because the kids can add individual ingredients and the pot's not hot when you do it in the morning. It's one pot, so it's super simple. And kids can try the individual ingredients as you add them so they can you know, feel the sausage, touch the bacon, smell the, you know, if it's carrots or vegetables, you can taste them. Sometimes when things are all thrown in one pot, it's harder for kids to try them because they can't really see the individual ingredients. Now we are making a classic Southern dish. It's uh, pinto beans and cornbread. I'm doing a little bit of a Creole feel, so I'm adding some sausage. So what I started off with is I'm gonna add some bacon, about four or five slices of bacon and I'm trying to think of a, if you want to do like a vegan dish or vegetarian, you can just do the pinto beans and leave out the meat. Uh, I like to add the meat because it adds a little bit of a salty flavor, but again, you can adjust this for um, how your family typically eats their meals every week. So we're heating up our bacon. We're going to make it nice and crispy. And then I got one large onion that I'm going to add right into our bacon. So I'll show you what's going on right now. And this is just a nice weeknight dish. What's great about this is that it's very, very simple and you can kind of adjust it to what you need. I sometimes would do a ham hock at the end. It's a, kind of the traditional way, but I'm going with a sausage this time. I got the heat going. I added about a tablespoon of oil at the end of the pan. And then I'm gonna chop up some jalapenos. Now, obviously, Jalapenos aren't the most kid-friendly thing, so if you have younger kids that you're making this for, I would leave this out. If you have a kid that actually is a little bit older and likes spice, and the spice actually brings oral awareness, I wouldn't suggest this for the toddlers, but if you have an older kid that like, oh, really likes jambalaya or really likes spice, then you could probably leave it in or put a couple jalapenos in. So, like I said, this is for uh, you know your family's needs. It's great that there's no dairy in this, so you don't have to worry about that kind of allergy. So. And I'm just chopping in just some canned jalapenos. I'm doing the, uh, or the jarred jalapenos. I'm doing the pickled ones because I like uh, that acidity piece to it. It kind of adds a little bit of a flavor. And this is kind of cooking. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to our onions and our bacon. And we're really just using this to uh, just let the onions and meld those flavors before you add them in. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna add three cans of jarred pinto beans into our crock pot. One, two. And you could do chili pinto beans. Uh, I often make, this is, I often make red beans and rice around Mardi Gras, so this is kind of a similar take on this using the crock pot. And normally then I would do the sausage and a ham hock. And you can even do both as well, that add lots of flavor. I'm just doing this as a simple weeknight dish. Um, here's my third can. Now I'm also gonna add some garlic to our pot, but then I'm gonna add just some minced garlic, just some two our beans, because I like a lot of garlic. Garlic brings a lot of yummy flavor. So here's my garlic, I'm gonna add that in. And then as this cooks, I'll add some extra spices to our pot. So I got some onion salt. You could also do garlic salt. I'm adding that to our pot, and I'm also adding a little bit to our pan. I think it's just a taste. You can adjust flavors once, um, once it's all ready. Got some paprika. And again, this is optional, but I have red pepper. I'm, we like it spicy in our house, but again, leave it out if you have pissy kids or you have younger kids. A lot of times kiddos who have reflux, a history of reflux, they tend to like that spice or that big flavor because a lot of times they have that acidity taste the back of their mouth and so you'll wonder why they like that really big pungent flavor. Now I actually add some Old Bay seasoning. If you don't have it, it's still okay. It's completely optional. I'm adding it to our onions and I'm also adding it into our bean. But again, it's just bringing in that southern flavor. But if you don't have any, it's okay. And then I actually love hot sauce. This is really spicy, but again, leave it out if you have picky kids or any kids. And then to add that flavor, I got some mustard. So I'm just doing it about two tablespoons to a tablespoon of mustard. Tablespoon and a half. And then our bacon is crisping up. It smells delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and add our jalapenos. 
If you have, now to add to this, you can, if you have bell pepper, you can add that in, that's great. Um, if you don't have sausage, you can do chicken with this. Uh, like I said, if you just have a ham hock, usually I buy two ham hocks and keep one in the freezer. And I'm just adding in one um, Italian, or one uh, uh, Louisiana sausage. I would go with the mild one. If you can't find the mild one, you can do just a kielbasa. Um, I just like that it brings up salt to it. And I would really watch the salt because the bacon and the salt is going to bring a lot of flavor already. So I would just add a little bit of salt and then taste it. Okay. And then that's really it. So I'm just going to add this meat right to I'm going to show you what it looks like. We got our sausage and our onion, our bacon. Now, one thing with sausage for younger kids is it's also a choking hazard. If you have older kids that have had sausage, you know, um, over four or five and don't have any other eating or uh, um, feeding delays, they should be fine. But honestly, after look, sausage is actually a risk for and under. So for kiddos that are younger to make this for the entire family, what I would do is I would cook it normally and then before you serve it to your toddlers, remove the skin and then I like it I mean you want to cut one round piece like this this is half of a piece I would remove the skin and then I would dice it into really small pieces honestly to be rather be safe than sorry I would really chop it up pretty finely if anything it'll just make a salty nice flavor to your beans beans are great for toddlers great toddler food because it's got lots of fiber and just um, absolute healthy and deliciousness. And then, you know, if you want to, like I said, you can want to add green onion, bell pepper. Those are some really good flavors that you could add to here. Um, if you wanted to get some vegetables in, what you could do is if you had like a sweet potato, I would peel off a sweet potato. Or if you have really, really young kids, you have a lot of jarred baby food that you don't really have a lot of use for. I would just bring that in because it's going to cook down anyway and you're going to get the vegetables in your, in your kids. So we have our mustard, we have our beans in our crock pot already. And then I'm just gonna scoop this, I'll show you, right into our pan and we'll stir it up. And that's it. We're gonna have this cooked down. I'm gonna let this cook for about six hours, six, eight hours on low, or you can do three or four hours on high. And then serve it with rice. And then I will um, include another recipe of how to make cornbread. You can always just get a jiffy cornbread, but I'm gonna use that box and show how to really jazz it up by adding fresh corn, adding a tablespoon of sour cream. And that's our meal for the week, or meal for the day. So, this is Taylor Westman's Beachy, and I will catch you later. Bye.